So now that I've uh, encountered the dragon and died to it a few times, I want to see if uh, if this guy says anything new. Yes. Yes. I thought as much. He's called Calamite. Ferocious dragon indeed. Even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere to the bitter end. Also, yes. <laughs> Good, good. What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? I've taken a liking to thee, and I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now, watch, and see how Goth hunts dragons. Ah, so it's Goth. Is he going to help me fight a dragon? Oh, I got a giant on my side. Get him! <laughs> nice shot! Truer shot was never loosed. I mean, you know, he could have hit it in the head. Just saying. Wait, I thought he said he was blind. Oh, there's a fog door here now. I bet I could upgrade a piece of armor with that tight titanite slab. Titanite slab. Black Dragon Calamite. Oh, that's 
spell doesn't have much range on it. No, 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 that's not good. Oh, God. Oof. Calamity ring. Receive double damage. A ring enchanted by the orange eye of Calamit, the bringer of calamity. Doubles damage received by its wearer. A useless ring befitting of no finger. Best left unknown, or at least well hidden. I mean, is that what it really does? Because that sounds insane. Go talk to Goff once more. So I can cross off Dog Valley from my list. I still meant to go back and talk to Guinevere again, too. I have to do that. I assume that she'll just be gone because I killed. Gwendolyn. Ah, thou hast defeated Calamit, wondrously played. Lord Gwyn's blessing upon me, that beast will never take to the skies again. Couldn't have done it without you. Dragons shall never be forgotten. We knights fought valiantly, but for every one of them, we lost three score of our own. Exhilaration, pride, hatred, rage. The dragons teased out our dearest emotions. Thou will understand one day. But our twilight, old thoughts return. Great waves of nostalgia. Man, three score. A score is twenty. So he's saying that for every dragon they killed, sixty giants were killed. Ah, this great bow, I shot need it, with no dragons to hunt. I know not if a human could even operate it. But here, I need outweighs mine. Uh, wait, what? I suspect thou hast taken a gander at it, but the dark of the abyss, who swallowed poor Artorias, threatens to devour our entire land of Ulysseo. It seems that this dire fate is unavoidable. But, seduced by a dark serpent or no, they awoke that thing themselves and drove it mad. One's demise is always one's own making. Now, do not mistake my words. I cherish my word. Wood carving is a nuanced art. I would have much to talk about with that blacksmith. In truth, 
How is the old chap, I wonder? Still hammering away, I should hope. Uh, which blacksmith? Oh, the, maybe the giant blacksmith. The one in Anna Orlando. Oh, I get it. So the reason why this sounds so metallic is because the wood that he's carving is from the arch tree. And the arch tree has, like, super strong wood. I wonder if I should go talk to all the blacksmiths. Maybe now that I've talked to him, I'll get some, like, extra dialogue or something. Uh, so... So he gave me a, a bow, but clearly not this one, because he still has it, and, I mean, obviously, <laughs> like, there's no way I'm using this. So, what is that about? Goth's Great Bow. I don't have the strength or the dexterity for it. It's very heavy. Great bow used by Hawkeye Goth of Lord Gwyn's Four Knights for dragon slaying. This bow is larger than even those used by the famed dragon slayers. Only their leader, Goth, had the strength to handle it. Zombie K does not have the strength to handle it. Alright, well. I get a boss fight on camera. That's for something, right? Oh, she is still there. Well, that's interesting. Gwendolyn created the illusion of a sister Guinevere who helps him guard over Ann Orlando. An unmasking of these deities would be tantamount to blasphemy. But even though I killed Gwendolyn, Guinevere is still here and still talking to me. Huh. Well, I don't want to kill her too. That would be tantamount to blasphemy. And <laughs> despite all of the NPCs that I've fought and killed, I didn't actually want to fight and kill any of them. So, given a choice, I'm still not going to do it. I didn't need to go up there. It's just habit. I Shemai. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. So these were the these were the bits of armor that he sold originally. So he has these golem armors because I fought I guess like that that knight atop Sun's Fortress. Samoa's armor. Crown of the Dark Sun, that looks like Gwendolyn. Artorius's armor. Alright, so let's see what these descriptions say. So Domnal is from Xena. Helm of the 
home of the Iron Golem, a guardian of the Ancient Sun's fortress, slayer of heroes who ventured forth to An Orlando. Without its core, it is a mere hunk of iron. Oh, I used that core. I wonder what happens if I wear the armor and then use the core. Too late. It's souls now. Its immense weight hinders stamina recovery. Helm of Smo, the Executioner. Protector of the Cathedral at the Forsaken City of An Orlando, it offers extremely high defense and can be worn by humans, but not without great difficulty. Crown of the Dark Sun, Gwendolyn, Protector of the Forsaken City of An Orlando. This crown of the gods demands faith immeasurable of its wearer, but it is imbued with dark moon power that enhances all magic. The image of the sun manifests Gwendolyn's deep adoration of the sun. So does that mean... Is this like more magic damage? Buy it. The power of the moon was strong in Gwendolyn, and thus he was raised as a daughter. His magic garb is silk thin, and hardly provides any physical defense. Artorius the Abysswalker, one of Gwyn's four knights. I never found out who the fourth knight was. I only got... Uh, Artorius, Hawkeye, Goth, and Lord Lord Blade or Lord's Blade, Karen. And I never found the fourth knight, I don't think. The death of the helm's owner can be surmised from the corrosive dark of the abyss and the musty azure blue tassel. Tassel, once a symbol of pride and glory. <laughs> it looks derpy as heck. That looks so dumb. Although I'm not, not sure that the ear tufts are much better. I think I might... I might actually win. It might be time to go win. Pick up. Did you make the people of Ulis Isle unearth some horrible demon that led to the death of Artorius and an entire city of people? Be honest. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? So evasive. The beings who possess as that the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well. Stay still for a moment. trust you anymore. Alright. Let's see if we win. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, there's ghosts. Are you friendly ghosts? I guess you're just decorative ghosts. Oh, that's deathable. Uh, 
Oh, wow. Holy cow. Looks like a just city in ruins. This has like a post-apocalyptic vibe going on. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is by far the coolest thing I've seen in this game. Even cooler than going over that wall into Anne Orlando, I think. Is this, like, underground? Is this, like, a giant, like, hangar? I see kind of curves, but I guess that could just be, like, the light rendering. Oh, man. I love it. It's the stormy skies. I guess it would kind of have to be underground, because, I mean, Firelink is up there. Assuming that he takes me straight down, which might not be true. Can I go over here? Bridge that came down. Some kind of archway over there. Wow, I did almost a thousand damage. Black Knight Greatsword. Do I have one of those? I think I have one of those. I've looked at that before. Too heavy. Too, too strength requiring. Right, it seems like they don't want me leaving this kind of half pipe. Oh, Black Knight armor. I haven't found that. I found Silver Knight armor. The knights followed Lord Gwyn when he departed to link the fire, but they were burned to ashes in the newly kindled flame, wandering the world as dis disembodied spirits ever after. There's like this just ghastly wind sound. I 
see. Bright white light. Oh. Where's that? Can't get a good view of it. Torch burning over there. It's supposed to be a kick, but I don't have a kick with this weapon. Lot of various colors of tight tight tonight chunks. Okay, let's see what's through this light. Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Oh god. I have to fight Gwyn? I thought Gwyn was dead. Ow. Jeez. Boy, it doesn't really give you a break to, uh, to take a healing potion, does he? I could switch in the fire resistant ring, but I think I would rather have the spell damage. bunch of knights to deal with. But I cannot one shot. Ooh, I can upgrade my uh my other shield. Actually maybe I should use the other shield. It gives me stamina recovery. Start with Crystal Soul Spear. That seems like it does so much damage. I'll use that one first. Oh. Gotcha.
Alright. Gwyn, Lord of Cinder, take two. Dodging. Alright, back to Dark Bean. It's harder to dodge. Oh, that one hurt him. Oh. All the potions! Oh, so close. If I had one more cast of Dark Beat, that was over. Okay, new plan. I'm going to try getting a parry repast first. See if he's parryable. And I'm going to do it at the beginning of the fight so that if I screw it up, I don't die immediately, hopefully. Because I think if I can get one parry repost in, then I might be able to finish him off with the... with the casts of Dark Bead. I also missed him with one of the Dark Bead casts. And some of them... I think I was so far away that only like one or two of the beads hit him. So, uh... So maybe if I get a little bit closer... I will do more damage with them. Practicing parries on the way there. Well, that was just a Black Knight sword, not a great sword. Still too much strength. Used to face chaos demons. a little bit late. Their armor is so cool. Halberd. Probably also too heavy. Wow, look at that base damage there. Alright, let's uh, heal up. Alright, so parry, repost, and then dark beads for days. Bring it, Gwyn! Ah, too late. That was too slow. Oh boy, my timing is so off. Can I get a heal in here? Kind of. Got you. Yep, okay, I think that's all I'll need. So, dark bead. Help if I were on the wand. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Don't be stupid. I was stupid. I need, I actually need an opening to cast the spell. Alright, new plan. I'm going to cast Crystal Soul Mass, homing Crystal Soul Mass when I go into the arena. And I'm going to try parrying him a whole bunch. So I should probably practice on these guys. Do it. Don't be afraid. Wow, he's 
guys drop a ton. Oh, I didn't upgrade my shield. Well, when I die this time from missed parries, I'll upgrade my shield. Alright, practice, practice parry. The problem with the Dark Beat spell is, for it to do its damage, I need to be right up close to him. And he doesn't really give you any window. Like, he just swings forever. It's like every single one drops something. Trouble parrying this guy. Quick go. Alright, we're at full life. Uh, are there any better rings I could use if I'm not going to be casting? Oh, well, I'm going to be casting at the very beginning. But maybe. We'll take the damage. Okay, so spell first and then switch to sword and parry a whole bunch. Here it goes. I wonder if I can heal now, like while he's on the ground. Let's try it. Ooh, that's actually really good timing. If I use a healing potion, parry, it's like the perfect timing interval. Use a potion. Par oh, he swung faster that time. Done. Does he have a second stage? Soul of Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. My souls. Wow, 70,000 souls. Alright, so what have we got in here? Right, let me look at that soul, too. Contains an incredible power. Soul of the, the Gwyn, Lord of Sunlight and Cinder, who linked the first flame. Lord Gwyn bequeathed most of his power to the gods and burned as cinder for the first flame. But even so, Lord Gwyn's soul is a powerful thing indeed. Yeah, he gave, he gave his soul to the, or at least parts, parts of his soul to the, uh, to the four kings of New Londo, right? Okay, so what do I do now? Oh, jeez, I didn't even see this bonfire. All right. Uh-oh. Don't touch it. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I don't seem too perturbed by this. Am I feeding the fire now? Is that the, the whole thing? Like, I succeeded Lord Gwyn in being fuel for a fire? Oh. That's it. Victory! Wow. Well. Thank you very much to FromSoft and Bando 
Namco Bandai. Thank you very much to everyone who's followed Zombie K along on her journey. I appreciate it. I, I love all the comments that you've left. So now, uh, so I know that Dark Souls 2, uh, the PlayStation version anyway, has been shipped to people. So I think at this point, like by the time I'm recording this, and definitely by the time you watch it, everybody will be playing Dark Souls 2. I am not going to have Dark Souls 2 until it comes out for the PC in like a couple months, I think. So here's my question for you. Should I keep going on this character? I know there's a there's a second uh, there's like a second playthrough, right? Or should I make a new character and go through the first playthrough again? So let me know in the comments uh, what you'd like me to do and post all of those spoilers that you've been clinging to. Thank you very much for, for holding back on spoilers. You were very good about it. Uh, so now is your moment. Now is your moment to spill them all. I am also going to look into some of the lore because I'm fascinated now by the backstory of this game. So I'm going to just <laughs> feast on lore videos. So if you have any good lore series too, please post them in a comment. And we'll see where it goes from there. I'm looking forward a lot to the second game. And as soon as I get it, I'll start recording it. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time. So someone tell me where Sigmeyer of Catalina actually went. Because I just didn't feel like exploring like seven different zones to find him. But I am curious what happens if you were to continue his story. And one last time, I apologize so much for the like three times that I lost footage two of which were pretty darn important in my opinion, because it was like the first boss with a life bar, and probably one of the harder fights that I actually won. Oh, yes, brilliant. indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Are you a bad enough dude to link the fires and undo the curse of the dark sign? <laughs>